In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear good people, I am sure you are very well. We are now in the first week of Lent. Today, Tuesday, we are on day two in our 25 days novena for candidates and uh, school-going children. And uh, as we said, I'm going to be giving you the updates on what is happening and uh, remembering that we have a duty to, to pray for our children. That is our duty, and we must, we must do that. Uh, I need to check what is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow it is the hot. Tomorrow it is... We are in day two. Uh, date Wednesday the 9th. No, that is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I'm checking what is happening tomorrow. Uh, July. Oh, tomorrow there is no there is no paper tomorrow. Monday. Yeah, tomorrow today today there is no paper. For from fourth today there is nothing that they are doing, but I'll be able to. Yeah, there is no there is no there is no paper tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is day what? Tomorrow is day seven, seven day eight, isn't it? Day eight. There is no paper tomorrow. Today it is day two. It is day two for class eight. And we thank God for the gift of our class eight. Uh, today again from four, um, are st still preparing. There are those who are doing the practicals. We normally guide our students on how to enter into the exam room as we pray. I did guide you and I was answering the, the question why we pray for our children. And I gave you the guideline. In every novena we have done for our candidates, there is always some guidelines on how our children should be able to access the exam room and which I share with you parents and our teachers so that we can be able to be on the same page, all of us. Remember some of these kids cannot pray for themselves. We do it for them. We stand in the gap for them. And as they enter the classroom, this is exactly what we did say. If you go through your novena, there is an area where we say that how the student, after the, the Psalm 21, and, and the, the, the classroom prayer, there are these words that should be said by every student every day, as they enter into the exam room, the student will say, I walk in as your child with peace of mind. I surrender the situation into your hands. I claim this day. I claim and own this day. I thank you for the success ahead. Amen. That is the conversation of a student and our God. I walk in as your child with the peace of mind, O Lord. I surrender the situation into your hands. I claim this day. I claim and own this day. I thank you for the success ahead. As we do that, there is the version that we had for the, uh, for the last year and the other years. Every year in our modification, uh, because even our prayer life should also be dynamic, we always are able to, to change here or there. But what is so important is that we teach our children also, as we pray for them, let us also teach them also on how to pray for themselves. But I wanted to mention this because it is day two. Day two is the day we pray for our teachers. I know we can pray for our children and we forget that there are teachers who are accompanying them now. Do you know that uh, by the time you are getting this devotion, there are teachers who left very early in the morning. 
to go and pick the exams. So you can imagine. And you will wait for the results when the exam the results are out. Chances are the teachers who will be remembered will be the teachers whose children will shine. I know we'll be told that a certain student is the best in the, in the country. That is when all of us will pay attention to that school. We start sending messages of congrats to the school and the teachers. But then I ask you, there are those schools that will not have a single child that will shine. And we will assume as if there are no teachers there. Sometimes I feel not quite okay when we talk about all manner of things and we forget the masters. I call them masters because they are masters, men and women who are not actually employed. Men and women who are leaving a call. Dear teachers, wherever it is that you are, we may not always thank you. But even if everybody was to forget you, please know that Father CK will never forget you. Today we are saying thank you to you. In this exam period, we still know that some of you are quite busy. And later, some of you will go for marking. And you are doing all this when we are doing other things. And we also know many hours that you have sacrificed. That part we know. We may not be telling you thank you every day, but I want to, to assure you today that there are so many parents who pray for you. Sometimes we may not be able to come out, but we pray for you. And we want to, you to know that we will always pray for you. We thank you for the sacrifice you make for our children. Today in our novena day two, we are telling God to remember you, to give you a visitation, to give you enough graces to always journey with our children, to always forgive us when we mistreat you, when we speak ill of you, and sometimes, if not always, when we forget you. Dear teachers, may God bless your families. May God bless the work of your hands. May he increase you in strength and in all manners so that when all is said and done, we will know we have got our masters, men and women of integrity, men and women of determination, men and women of, of uh, perseverance, men and women of patience. Sometimes our children are difficult but you are always there with them. Please, please, please accept our thank you. And where we may not have come out so clearly to thank you, maybe we were thanking you and we didn't know how. For those of you who have been hurt by our past behaviors, forgive us. And as you forgive us, we still want to promise you our prayers. May it be well with you today and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear teachers, shall be well with you. Thank you.